Thank you so much for being here, agents. I called you urgently because I saw the new video posted by the math scientist, Professor Q Zila. I will play it for you. Greetings, agents. I will smash every inch of the ground by downing them in concrete. Isn't ironic that I'm gonna use the material to the use to build things to destroy things instead, huh? You will not be able to stop me. Not now. Not in a million years. <laughs> It seemed like he planned to make another attack. Indeed, he planned to use concrete this time to destroy the world. We have to stop him. Agent, we must not be legless. I've already dispatched agents to his semen factory, therefore we'll obtain the semen sample. Sir, please show them. Here it is. In order to succeed, Professor Qzilla has been experimenting with these samples to use in his concrete. He will use the base Portland cement with ideal density and fineness. Thus, I need you to find out which sample has the ideal density and fineness by performing some ASTM tests. I've already sent you the files. Agent Nen and Gil, you have to perform the taste for density of hydraulic cement with ASTM C188. Mission accepted. Agent I, you need to contact Agent Get, who is unable to attend today's meeting, to perform the taste for fineness of hydraulic semen by sieve number 325. Mitchin, accepted. Okay, now, you are dismissed. Bring me your best results, then we can defeat Professor Qzilla. Ed, you haven't said what we are gonna do with the best result. What? What is ASTM state result for? So we know which sample we should destroy. Now go! Good afternoon, this is Agent Gil speaking with my partner, Agent Nin. We are going to conduct the standard test method for the density of hydraulic cement. This experiment is very useful in its connection with the design and control of concrete maker. We need to do this in order to beat Professor Qzilla. First, we need the Le Chatelier flux, kerosene, 64 grams of cement powder. Let us get down to the procedure. First, we need to fill the flux with kerosene to be a point between 0 and 1 ml. Mark on the stem of the flux. Um, then we need to make sure that the flux is dry on the part above the liquid. After that, we need to put the flask in the water bath in the upright position to maintain the temperature at 20 degrees Celsius. Then we need to weigh the flask contain kerosene and record the mass. Then before we pour the cement in, we want to make sure that the temperature is the same as the kerosene inside the flask. To avoid the cement to spread around, we use paper as a cone to make the pouring process easier and less messy. We pour the cement in until they reach some point within the upper series of gradation. Sometimes the cement form as lumps and block the path to the kerosene, so we will need to shake the flask a bit along the way. After that, we place the stopper in the flask and roll the flask in an inclined position, or gently roll it in a horizontal circle to free the entrap air from the cement until there is no air bubbles rise to the surface. We measure the flask with the cement and kerosene and record the mass again. We put the flask again in the water bath for some fire in order to avoid the flask temperature greater than 0.2 degrees Celsius between the initial and the final reading. The calculation of cement mass can be obtained by this formula and therefore, the density of cement can be found by this formula. For a reliable test result, a single operator standard deviation for Portland cement has been found to be 0 0.012. Therefore, the results of two properly conduct tests 
by the same operator on the same material should be not differ more than 0.03. And the multi-laboratory standard deviation for Portland cement has been found to be 0.037. Therefore, the result should not differ by more than 0.10. It's time for our section. This is Agent I speaking. With my partner Agent Get, we are going to perform the standard test method for finance of hydraulic cement by sieving number 325. This test aims to determine the finance of cements, which is an important property resulting on the hydration rate in mixing of the concrete. These are all the apparatus needed for the test. One gram of semen sample. Sieve number 325. Rain also with a pressure gate. Before we start performing the test, the calibration of sieve number 325 should be done to obtain the collection factor. The procedure to calibrate will be the same as the one for the test, but with the standard sample numbers 114 or number 46H. Let's move to the procedure of this test. First, paint one gram of the sample on a green dye. 45 micrometer steam. Red sample jelly with steam of water. Adjust the pressure on the spray nozzles to 69 plus minus 4 kilopascal and wash for 1 minute. Moving the sheet with circular motion in a horizontal plane at the rate of 1 motion per second. Immediately remove the sea from spare lens about 50 cubic centimeters of the tail water carefully. By the residue in the oven. Let it cool and raise the results. And this is the determination of collection factor. The calculation of finance can be done by the formula as shown. For the precision of the test result for normal finance products, result of properties conducted test for the two different laboratory on identical samples of semen should be agreed 95% of the time within plus minus 2.1%. For high finance product, result of properly conducted tests from two different laboratories on identical samples of semen should agree 95% on the time within plus minus 1.4%. Mission accomplished! Mission accomplished! Fools, they knew nothing. Our pile runs smoothly. Indeed, it is. Now we know which semen sample we are going to use for the concrete mix. You know, I have always hated humans. The world is better off without them. Now we can live for the whole world supreme leader. <laughs> They can imitate you, but they can't duplicate you. Cause you got something special that makes me wanna.